Hello, everybody. Today, I'd like to talk to you about the importance of our bodies and, and how our bodies are telling us messages constantly. And the idea is for us to start connecting more and more to our body to be able to understand the messages that the body is trying to share with us. So I'm just going to mention two, four bodies that we have, okay? At so we've got the physical body, and this is the one, the body that I'm going to be talking to about today. Also, we have the emotional body, the intellectual body, the mental body. I mean, everything is mind, but the mental body and the energetic body. So I'm just talking just about the bodies that we have. Some people say that the intellectual and then the emotional body doesn't matter. Don't worry about that. The key here is to, uh, to try to understand every time that you <clears throat> feel something, where is it expressed in what part of the body? And also every time you think about something. So sometimes when, when I ask someone um, whether they know what they're feeling, some people go, I'm feeling numb. I don't really know what I'm feeling. Many of us also know that we are usually feeling one specific emotion. Some people have the main emotion that they feel throughout the day. Sometimes it's anger. So, so you might be really peaceful, but the moment that someone triggers you, anger comes out. Or other people might be sadness. You know, they just feel sad all the time. Some other people might be peaceful and joyful, but... Obviously, if you're feeling joyful and peaceful, well, then, then you're there already where we all want to be. But the key here is to understand what is my main emotion? What, what's going on with my emotional world? And, and to be able to understand a little bit more about emotions, we need to connect to our body and see where am I holding tension? Where am I holding pain? Am I carrying an illness? What is my body trying to tell me? And I promise that if you go into your body, into that area of your body that feels tight or uncomfortable or painful, and you just stop for a moment and you ask to understand that a little bit better and just see if you can get it, whether it's a color, whether it feels very tight and you just don't understand. You just realize that you have a knot and you didn't realize before. Or it's pain, painful. Or you might even go a little bit deeper and go, is there an emotion attached to this feeling, to this knot in the stomach or in the head? Or is there an emotion? And you might also want to express whether this, there is thoughts attached to that so the, the interesting thing here is that a lot of the times we think that we are feeling peaceful and happy but we don't realize that we are walking around with all these tight areas of our bodies and we've just got so used to it that we are accepting it I mean I remember not that long ago that I realized that I always had a knot in my stomach it was just with me all the time. Sometimes it's, it felt a bit tighter. Sometimes it felt a little bit more relaxed and I didn't notice it that much, but it was there all the time. And this is the invitation for today. Just notice what are you carrying and be ready to understand what it is and set it free. It's like <clears throat> a knot and you just understand what it is not about and then they're not just dissipates until it disappears. So this is emotional freedom and understanding how your mind works because a lot of these emotions are caused by your thought pattern, uh, but that will be next topic. Okay, enjoy and keep getting to know yourself. Really, get, keep getting to know yourself.